I've prepared uh, some paper here and uh, I will write down some of the figures so it uh, will be easier for you to uh, check the calculations. There are different kinds of radionuclides which have been released from the power station. Most of these nuclides are short-lived such as iodine 131. It has got a half time of only 8 days. So more than 100 days after the incident um, most of this iodine and other nuclides have vanished. The most important long-lived nuclide which was released from the power station is cesium. The amount of cesium released from the power station is estimated to 40,000 terabecquerel. This terra means that the number has to be multiplied by a factor of the 12th power of 10. This means terra becquerel 40,000 is 40,000 becquerel. 40,000 multiplied by the 12th power of 10 becquerel. Most of this cesium has been released to the atmosphere. Only uh, some of it was in the water directly released into the ocean, but nearly all of the release to the atmosphere later precipitated to the ocean. So we can say that approximately 40,000 tera becquerel have been released to the Pacific Ocean. This number seems to be uh, quite big, but we have to see it in comparison to the natural radioactivity in the Pacific Ocean. And now we are going to calculate this natural radioactivity. You can get um, figures about the natural radioactivity of the oceans, the Pacific, the Atlantic and so on, um, from uh, different sources. You can look it up in the internet. Um, it is estimated that one cubic meter of ocean water contains 10,000 becquerels. Now uh, 10,000 is not such a big number if you compare it to the uh, 40,000 tera becquerel, but uh, you have to uh, take into account that the Pacific Ocean is uh, quite big. The Pacific Ocean has got a volume of 720 million cubic kilometers. It is very important to see these cubic kilometers because one cubic kilometer is uh, one billion cubic meters and so this becomes this 720 million millions of billions and this is 10 by 15. 10 power 15. Okay, 720 multiplied by the power, by the 15th power of 10 cubic meters. This is the volume, this is the volume of the Pacific. And we have got 10,000 becquerel per cubic meter. So you have to multiply this and then 
you get as a total amount of radioactivity in the Pacific 720 10 the 15th power of 10 multiplied with the 4th power of 10 is the 19th power of 10 19 Becquerel per Pacific Okay, now we have uh, to compare it to the amount of radioactive cesium released from Fukushima. This was 40,000 multiplied by the 12th power of 10 Becquerel. Now we can do a division. Now we have to divide the amount of radioactivity in the Pacific by the amount of radioactive cesium released from Fukushima to get the relation between these two amounts. So I calculate 720 by 10 power 19 equals this. Now divide by 40,000 40,000 divide by 10 power 12 okay 180,000 okay 700 divided by this and you get 100 and 80,000. That means there's approximately 200,000 times more natural radioactivity in the Pacific than the amount of radioactivity which was uh, that was released from the nuclear power plant or in the incident of the nuclear power plant of Fukushima.